for a closer look at why this law failed and where it leaves François Hollande. I'm joined here in the studio by uh, Didier gutierrez Perry, head of Via Voice uh, Political Research Consultancy. Thanks for being with us. Hello. Um, now, uh, this is a massive climb down for President Hollande. He very proudly announced this <coughs> law as a very strong measure uh, in the wake of those attacks in November. Surely uh, this U-turn is not going to do his popularity with the voting public any favours? No, no, not at all. And um, we have to take uh, the look back and see what the four months after the announcement has been. And uh, we see that probably the withdrawal of the law is, uh, or the project of the law is the less worrying uh, problem in the four months because he lost one of the biggest ministers and one of the uh, most popular ministers was Christiane Taubira, that mm. uh, she she quitted over this uh, this uh, this law project and this constitutional reform um, so probably uh, the withdrawal is the less worrying aspect of these uh, last four months indeed uh, there are pretty big splits in the socialist party not just over this issue but also uh, the government's handling of the economy many socialists say that uh, François Hollande and his economy minister mm. and prime minister have gone too far to the right um, how dangerous though is this uh, rather symbolic news today for the Socialist Party? Do you think that this news today could prove to be somewhat of a turning point? I think that the first reactions already show uh, a little bit uh, uh, the, the political game here because uh, the Socialists are blaming uh, the, the opposition and the opposition, in fact, are just doing her numbers and their numbers and they are a majority in, in the Senate, so they just blocked Mm. Uh, what the, in the in the Assemblée Nationale was already quite quite weak, um, so I think that uh, it's going to be uh, one of the major major turns or political turns of just one year before the elections or the presidential elections, and it has been a turn that has been, as I was saying, just over four months. So it's a long period of time, just uh, making this bet, uh, mm. this this uh, this gambling, and just losing the, the the bet and making a lot of concessions in the way. So. It's, it's definitely for the for for his family. It's going to be a, a quite a strong moment in the mandate for sure. Indeed, and uh, we do of course have a presidential election coming up May mm -hmm. 2017. That's just over a year away. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, François Hollande is uh, very unpopular with the public. He's facing opposition inside his own party. A lot of people have been saying we need to go against the tradition where a sitting president doesn't have to stand for uh, the uh, the primaries mm. and uh, try and win his his candidacy uh, a lot of people saying that this should now happen they should throw open the socialist party nomination do you think that that's likely at this point i mean the the the, the people that we work on on surveys and and, and research polls uh, the popularity of the president is is extremely low it's um, it's even historically low so the the, the question is now um, a strategic question is someone that has 20, 15 percent of popularity, uh, can he really win an election? And that's a question for the Socialist Party, and that's why a lot of um, potential candidates are just uh, asking, should we do some primaries? Should we open the, the process or should we, should we stick to this non-written rule that uh, an outgoing president uh, has the priority? Uh, uh and what's your feeling? Do you think they will throw it open to primaries? I mean, uh, that's uh, that's a question definitely for the Socialist Party and the and, and the electorate. But uh, they have a strategic uh, question here, and and uh, politics still remain an electoral battle. So if 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 they want to to win the election, they have to make themselves some big questions in the next three five months because in just one year mm. there's the, the elections and France has a political rhythm uh, very based on the presidential election. Mm. So it's going to be very fast. In just two, three, four months, people are going to stick with the candidates in the head and, and they will answer, or they will ask some, some, some answers from these candidates. All right, I can't pin you down to a direct answer on that, but uh, I think you're saying they might not think it's such a bad idea. <laughs> Thanks very much, uh, Didier Gutierrez, Paris uh, political uh, strategist, uh, joining us here in the studio. Thank you.